morning guys, Paul from Paul Jamie Constructions. We're back again with another video. We're doing a couple of roofing jobs at the minute, covering some work for my, one of my pals, close mate of mine, I've been mates with him for years. He had a bad accident two weeks ago, trying to keep the business going. So this is what we're doing at the minute. We've got to remove this verge, all the undercloak, all these tiles. Remove any rotten timbers and replace them. Install new soffit and fascias if we need to. That's just falling off. And then put it all back again. It's all stripped off. So now we know what we're dealing with, both sides. Uh, this wall plate is at it which is a shame so we're gonna have to try and do something with that if ones are good which is happy days battens have had it so we need to cut them back to the next rafter put a new strip of felt through overlapping the existing one up both sides and then uh once we get this on so i need some treated four by two as well so i'm probably going to shoot off now pick up right at shop in this, pick up everything that we need and then we can just crack on then, try and get these timbers in today and get these uh, soft fit faces on and then we do the mat work tomorrow. Just had a bit of lunch, shot off to Chelmsford Plastics, picked up the gear that all we need for today. So we've got some treated timber, some battens, all the soffit and the fascias, roofing felt and all that. Um, so yeah, we'll get set up now and we'll get cracking. Right guys, first thing we need to do uh, is figure out the picture of this roof. And I'll just use an angle finder on my phone to find it a lot easier. <laughs> 22 degrees. I'll check it up here as well. 23, 24 there, so if I just take it 23 degrees as an average, that should give us the angle of the roof. So that gives us our plum cut down here and also at the top there for that ridge. Christy. We are having an absolute merry. Look at this. It's not level that way, the existing. It's not level that way. Um, obviously, the standard detail will be like a nice box end detail here. But because they've got the wall plate, it can't. I did think about extending this over and doing a big boxing in. But it's so far out of level, I just can't get it. It's like down here somewhere. So my thoughts are, go back to the original boxing in there Cut that off, we're gonna have to run the soffit down as you would typically. Absolutely struggling with these box ends. Um, just the existing 30 mil out over a one foot level. But we made good progress. Hello, Hello mate. Um, so we've got a J trim all on. Got a new rafter 
4 by 2 on there, new fascia, double pinned, which is good. I've got to do the boxing in tomorrow, so I've prepped up for that. I've got my wide boy, the 450 double ender to go in there. So I'll get them done first thing. I'm going to bring the nail gun in the morning. So we obviously we've got a weather up tonight, just in case. Cut the battens back to the next rafter. So I'll just extend these out. When we set out for the undercloak, cut that felt off. Fire that in with the nail gun. Uh, same the other side. We've got to have a good tie up up here as well. Absolute mess it is. Do that first thing. So that's day one complete. I think they're the old stone worlds. Yeah, they are. You get stone worlds mark one and mark two. So I'll have to take one of these with me today. Um, pick some of them up. They're like a reddy color as well. I haven't seen them that color. They're normally gray. But they've been discontinued. So to go and buy them, they're about five, well, they used to be, a couple of years ago, about five quid each. So I dread to think what they are now. We don't need loads, but even 20 tiles, do you know what I mean? It's a one on it. Right, so that's us. See you guys in the morning. How are we doing, guys? Back again, day two. Um, another glorious day. So we need to get this wrapped up today. We've been to Chelmsford Roofing Supplies this morning. Picked up the building sand, got six bags of building sand, two bags of cement, and I had a right squeeze. They had the stone walls in stock as well, so I don't think they're the exact same colour, but we'll lose them in here or something if we need to. So it'll be absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, rubble bags as well. So put a tire folding down, cleared the scaffold first thing, just so we've got a nice area to work. Sean's going to cut the battens, so obviously we cut back the battens yesterday, back to that next rafter. He's going to cut them and just land where they go, and then I'll fix them in when I put this cloak in. I'm going to finish off these box ends, get them buttoned up, uh, probably get me joiners all on and glued, and then we'll set out for this cloak, get the mixer out and get rocking and rolling. Tunes are on. What's happening? I'm just jumping on this uh, box end, so I'll just show you how I like to do it. You go with the first batten gauge, yeah? Because you need to put like a fillet, because when this tile sits on it, when that tile sits on that batten and goes on that front edge, it goes, so if you look there, look, that face, if we follow that through, it will just be flush with there and we'll have this little bit of a gap. Some people like to follow that through and then cut a piece of fascia and fill that in, but this is how you do a box end. So roughly round about where that gauge is, so if you look where that tile is, that's bang on there. Then just measure from there to there, cut a wider piece in, and then you just scribe it down the back, but this is the angle that we want to follow. So from here to the end there. So I've just measured that, it's 360 mil. I'll just cut that now. If you cut it with a skill saw, you can cut it on the back and it won't uh, splinter out the front. You can use a jigsaw, a multi-tool cuts it nice even a grinder with a uh, a diamond disc thin one like for cutting porcelain or a metal blade so yeah a couple of different ways of doing it knocks that corner out knocks that corner out there it's going to rebate in this corner uh, same on this one So I'm going to notch that corner out now and then I'll show you how to mark the top. If we look underneath here, it sits lower on a gable end, um, like a barge board. So what that means is, if we have a look here, 
Look how far out of level that is. Forty mil. Something ridiculous. It's obviously dropped over the years. So what you don't want to do is pull that up like that. Yeah, then the client's gonna. You'll get a tug on that. So if we just drop that, drop that in level this way. Put the level underneath it. We can then scrub the back, and that's everywhere you look from the front. That's all nice and level. None of this underneath. You're going to see it. So I'll line that corner up first. Get the bottom nice and level. Then we can mark where that is and then where that fascia is. Oh shit. So I've just transferred the marks on the back. Line that up, I'll cut that, and then that should give us the fillet for that front edge. Skilly, mate. Skilly, bro. Sweet. Dreamer, Rima, Dreamer. Nice and level. Put another piece in on that side, level. So as you're looking at it from the front, it all looks nice and neat. And then all you do, get yourself a corner, offer it up, obviously, Cut the top bit in. That bit slots round like so. And then you've got a nice, neat boxing in detail. <coughs> That's all I can do for the minute. I've just sent Sean up the road to get one undercloak because we're literally one length short. I've got three quarters of one there, but it ain't gonna be enough. So what I'll do now is I'll start mucking in this side. And then by the time he gets back, I'll have this done, do the other side, and then I'll drop back point this side. And then I'm away.
completes the two days, so we're just gonna have a quick tidy up, clear the scaffold, load the van up. We've got to shoot to uh, my mate's yard and stock, tip the rubbish off in the skip, uh, and that is us. The time is five to three, so yeah, we should be out of here in about 15 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Like, subscribe and comment. If you want any other videos, let me know. And uh, take care and I'll see you soon.